So I'm converting my traditional marketing agency from a services based business where we would run paid ads for real estate investors to help them generate motivated seller leads and off market deals to an automated software as a service. So here's basically what I've built and I've been doing this for about six years now. And I want to show you what's going through my mind in terms of, yeah, basically what I'm doing. And if you're an investor, how our system may help you and really hopefully just provide value in terms of the future of really just businesses. And I think just how things are going in general. So I think I have to get into it before uh, for any of this to make sense. So let's break it down. So I'm going to start with an overview of what I've built and then talk about why I'm doing it and then see what you guys think. So in 2016, I basically started a real estate marketing agency. And I would do various services, build websites, funnels, email automation, run paid ads, and basically anything that came my way. In 2017, I started to standardize my service and focus only on running paid ads for, at that time, real estate agents. And fast forward about three and a half years from 2017 into late 2020, I focused exclusively on working with real estate investors to find off-market deals. So in December of 2020, I partnered with a guy named Ryan, and basically him and I built a real estate investing system together to find off-market deals. And in that process, I've learned a ton I've managed over, at this point, probably a million dollars in ad spend, definitely over 800K in the last six years. And I've spent thousands of hours on digital marketing, copywriting, email automation, text automation, anything you can pretty much think of. So up until now, my business existed as a services-based business where you would reach out to my company and hire us to basically run your paid ads. Now, six years ago, I was able to charge $3,000 plus separate ad spend for this skill set. Now, software is doing it. So here's basically what I'm doing, and I'm going to give you an overview, and then I'm going to talk about why. So basically, because I used to do this as a service, you know, I'd have to use my my hands and my blood, sweat and tears to basically get clients results. And part of that process included setting up new ads and integrating them into a software and building systems to help clients follow up with them. Now, one of the biggest pain points for me had always been hiring somebody to help me run the ads. And I have attempted different, uh, you know, ways of hiring these people. And basically, the short answer is that it doesn't make sense to hire somebody that knows how to run ads n not as good as me. And so because I understood real estate, because I understood sales, because I understood what a client needed, because I understand the entire business model of what I do and what I've done for clients, the media buyers that I had worked with really saw ads as just ads and they didn't really see all of the components that go into making a successful system. So I really was never able to justify 
paying for a media buyer that got worse results than me and that basically could leave at any time, you know, was doing other things. There's a whole other thing. There's a whole, you know, thing to hire people, right? So as time went on, tools and softwares and systems started to come out that basically automated and removed this process. And so over the last like six or seven months, I had been keeping my eye on a software that would potentially automate this process. And, you know, I'm someone that really wants to make sure things are basically done right before I just use them or endorse them and so over the last even just two weeks I've been able to help 10 clients run their own ads with our automated software and so what this does is this enables the client in my case to basically just choose a template and basically these templates are built from my brain and experience of over, you know, 6 years of real estate relationships, real estate ads, funnels, websites, everything real estate, right? And I've basically been able to crystallize these ads and these things that I've done to help clients make over a million dollars profit in just the last 2 years into simple templates and so now clients really just have to choose between do they want a long form lead a medium form lead or a short form lead and i explained to them on our onboarding call basically the same process that i would go through which was what was the client's budget and what market were they in and what were they what were their goals right? Because this really determines what form you use. Client has a low budget, the minimum budget, and they're in a tough market, you know, they would have to go with the short form, right? If a client has a good budget, and they're in a tough market, then they would probably need a medium form. If a client has a sufficient budget, and they're in a less competitive market or they're in multiple markets or they have a really, really, really good budget in a competitive market and they want quality and they're making good money consistently, then they should choose a long form. So it's very easy for my clients to make their own decision now about what form they choose. And basically what happens is these motivated sellers get taken through a different questionnaire which I'm going to walk you through what the system actually looks like like show you it Um, this is just kind of the breakdown of how it works but basically our investors can now come in here and say okay well I feel like I need volume I'm just starting out I need a short form cool they make their own decision cool, well, I got a decent budget, but not an insane budget. I'm going to just do the medium form, right? And then if they ever want to turn this off or add in another long form or a short form, they can do it at their own will. And so basically, the difference between these three forms is that it's going to qualify the lead that they generate at a different level. So to keep this simple, let's just say the long form asks five qualifying questions, the medium form asks three, and the short form asks one. So that's really the difference. And then each of these actions cost more on Facebook because this is running Facebook ads to a form with templates. So what happens is once they choose one, right, they get taken to a library of templates that basically are connected to the form. And then what happens is a lead will get generated, the client would get notified, and the lead will get automatically assigned to an instant SMS and email campaign. And from there, it automatically assigns this lead to a phase one of, I think it's around nine SMS and email automations. And so basically those will continue to go out 
you know, until they complete basically. And if the lead engages, then what happens is the automation will get paused and it'll notify the client and then the client can qualify the lead and then basically just convert the lead. And then that converted lead goes back into our aggregated metric system of all of the clients using different templates, which goes back into their brain and my brain about what new templates to create and also can be shared with the group. And I'll explain more about how we do that later, but basically whatever template a client chooses, we can see their metrics. And if clients choose the same template, it aggregates their metrics together. And if clients choose the same templates and close deals, then we can basically create this brain, decentralized brain that investors can use to generate their own deals based on real data and not me or anyone else. It's just pure data. So I'll show you how that looks in a bit. So they choose a form, they choose a template, there's automated systems already in place that allows them to get notified and get and the lead get assigned to automated campaigns and then the lead engages and then from there you know like i said if they engage then the client jumps in qualifies converts and then that feeds back into the metrics which then creates this brain of new templates that keep closing deals if the lead doesn't engage they get automatically assigned to a phase two of SMS and email automation and the same action, you know, or the same prompt gets activated. Did the lead engage? Yes. Well, it's going to pause the automation, notify the client, the client qualifies, converts, and then that feedback feeds back into how we create templates and what questions to ask. And the cool part about this too is clients are now running their own ads. They're, they're giving feedback to the group about what's working and it just takes a life of its own versus me or some dude behind a computer clicking buttons, running ads, and just getting paid to run ads and look at how many clicks and stuff. So now it's like the actual users in charge of what they need but the software and the technology automates and simplifies the process of what was media buying and building automation because I've already built it. So then if the lead doesn't engage, then they go to a phase three. And this number may not be quite accurate, but there's at least 20, I'll put 20, I think. SMS and emails that I've built. And then does the lead engage? Yes. Okay, well then it feeds back into the qualifying lead system and converting lead system and then those become new templates we create or we create more templates that are similar to the ones that are converting and vice versa. So I wanted to show you this because if you're an investor and you've thought about running paid ads using Facebook, um, our system may be for you. So now let me actually show you like how this works and actually show you how do you pick a form and how does this whole thing look, right? Because you need to see this. So let me pause this and open up what would be a system that a client would invest into. So let's start here. Basically, here's you. And now you're inside this system. And you're like, all right, well, I need some feedback, right? Basically, these are like bumper lanes. So you really can't fail, especially if you fully commit to making the system work. You just won't fail. It may not be linear the way that your results 
you get results. Like it won't just be you click a form, you run an ad, you get a deal. But if you commit to the system, it'll work. All of these ads and forms and systems that I built have been proven in the real world. So basically all you have to do is like pick your bumper lane, right? And it's based on the factors I shared. So this is how it actually like looks. So some of these aren't um, like I have a lot of the templates loaded in the long form because that's the one that I've used with clients to generate the best results. The clients that have made, you know, a lot of money have used the long form. However, I have clients that have made significant money and closed deals through uh, shorter forms. And I know people that also have as well. It's really, like I said, um, a conversation about where someone is, what their, what their budget is, what they want for their business, and what they value. If they really value a lot of time and they're on their own, then um, you know long form is going to be the smartest way to do that, right? So I'm a firm believer that quality is always more economical in the long run. So for me, I always recommend long form. However, that's not where everyone's at, and some people's brain just doesn't don't doesn't work that way like they couldn't justify spending 50 or a hundred dollars potentially for a lead when they could maybe get that same lead for 10 or 20 dollars with a shorter form right so this is something that we can discover on a call together if you are an investor but um let me just show you now but i say that because the short form and the medium form don't have as many templates inside of them. I basically, on the onboarding call, if somebody's in a specific state, um, you know, then I just load that state up into here. So here's like a long form one. And basically, there's all these different templates that you can choose from. And it's really cool. So basically, you know, you can choose this template just like that. And all you have to do is fill this stuff out. So median price point, basically, if you're running a campaign in a local market or one main market, uh, we would recommend putting in a median price point that's, you know, accurate to that area. If you're doing nationwide or multiple markets, and you're wholesaling, you can just put dollar signs here. And then from here, you just put in your budget. So if you're gonna put like 25 bucks, you can just put that here. And then for your website, what we do is we actually give you a unique website that's linked to your account, which has an appointment booking system linked to it. So when a lead fills out a form, um, either the long form, medium, or short, after they fill that out, they'll be directed and taken to your unique website that we give you in our system that allows the leads to book their own appointment. So while we're on the call, we give you this copy paste link and you just paste it there and you know you have access to that. And then the radius is basically a, a 15 mile radius minimum around your target market or any target markets you select. And you can also change that and make it larger. I usually recommend uh, making it at least, I mean, 15 is fine depending on budget and other factors. However, I do like to get it to probably 25, that way, the algorithm basically has room. And the idea of this system is that you're not constantly iterating and changing and running a bunch of new ads. The idea is that, you know, you're running maybe one or two campaigns, you know, 
and you kind of leave it and then you maybe just refresh it or increase your budget gradually, right? The idea is not for you to be in here running a bunch of ads all the time. Even though it makes it easy, that, that's not the goal. The goal is to run a proven campaign and close deals and just not worry about it. So when you increase your radius, in most cases, um, this just gives Facebook more room to basically run your ads and not be as constricted. So I like to increase this. Obviously, these things depend on, you know, different factors, right? But that's what I would say. And then you go here to location targeting and you just click on expand section and you just put in your markets here. So if you wanted to do Austin, Texas, you basically just do that. You want to do Dallas and Fort Worth. There you go. And just like that, you basically can launch this campaign and I'm going to show you how fast it is now. Oh, so let me fill out this website. And basically, so from my understanding, this, uh, this tool that we've used just increased the speed for pushing the campaign to Facebook. And I think I have the proper demo account. So what I'm going to do is basically once this gets created, I want to show you how fast this ad actually gets pushed out. Because from my understanding, the time was reduced pretty much in half. So by the time I'm done maybe talking here for a bit, it'll be literally on Facebook. But once this gets pushed to Facebook, it basically is in review, starts to get reviewed by Facebook, and then basically it just starts running out into those markets. So what I'm going to do is once this gets created successfully, I'm going to basically just show you inside of my demo ad account, which is where this should have went if I, I haven't even looked at this, but like where I've linked this, but um, I'll just show you live. This is like the ad. It, it went out and basically it's as simple it's as simple as that right and so that what i'm showing you is we just chose the long form template and the ads now you know the campaigns getting published and then i'm going to show you like all these actions inside of the system after i show you you know the actual ad that was created so there it is it's that fast so let me open up my ads manager. So here it is on the other end. And you can see this is the image we chose. And I can show you the targeting. Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth. 25 mile radius around all three of those locations. And there's the ad. And then automatically it generates this form so it asks the seller their reason for wanting to sell their property type how soon would they like to sell is it listed the condition the address the name the phone number and the email and then from here when they click submit this will take them to the calendar booking page so what I've just shown you is you know, how we've just replaced like a bunch of people clicking buttons and running ads with like choosing a template and a proven offer and then using software to automate it onto Facebook. And then now I'm going to show you this. And this is really where the good stuff is because ads are great. You know, it's pretty easy to run one of these ads, which is another reason why software should do it because just to create one of these forms, 
um, you know, that I've showed you, right? Even if you hire a VA and they're duplicating it, I mean, if a client has a different page or something like that, I mean, this can take, you know, 10, 15 minutes. And it's, it's just a form, right? So software is just automating it, right? And it's doing it better without any error. So I've shown you this now, basically just this front end. So now, how do we like, what happens? Like, okay, you ran an ad, it looks cool, looks great, but I mean, where does it go? And how is this an actual system that's going to produce money, right? And a return. So let's get into it. So this is how it works. Basically, when the ad gets published and Facebook approves it, it'll start to generate its own leads. And you're going to need a bunch of automations that contribute to the conversion of the system to make you more efficient. So I'm going to walk you through the progression here of what I'm covering in this video because there are different automations I have built, but for the st sake of staying on track, I think it's just best to show you these three main automations. So basically, the lead gets generated. Our system will automatically import that lead into it. So when the lead fills out all those questions, it's going to automatically pull that data that the, the client input and selected when they filled out the form. Then they're going to be taken into phase one of follow-up. So you can see, actually, there's a trigger that sets this into motion. So I can actually show you how this gets done. And by the way, if you, you know, decide to use this, there is a link below where you can just sign up directly and you don't, you don't have to build this if you're an investor. Uh, agents can use this, but keep in mind this is for only off-market deals. I do have uh, some agents that just closed about, I think it's 40K in assignment fees and, and listing fees. So I'll be publishing those results using, and this was using this system. So if you are an agent, you can use the system, but this is not for buyer leads or anything like that. This is for off-market deals. So how does this thing get started? So when someone fills out that Facebook form, we add them to phase one of the workflow, and then we create a pipeline opportunity, which we like saving as you know, John Smith, which is the lead's name, and then their address. So it'll say like John Smith, 123 ABC Street in the actual opportunities pipeline, which I'll show you later. But the form gets submitted and they get added to this follow-up instantly. Then they get added to a pipeline. So that's how this thing gets started. There's also an appointment booked reminder that if they book an appointment, it removes them from all the workflows, moves the opportunity to the appointment booked section, and then adds them to the appointment booked reminders. So this is phase one. So when they come into the system, they're going to basically go through this entire system. And if they don't engage, so I'm just going to go down the right side of the system. Then they go into phase two. So add to workflow phase two. And now they go into phase two. So this is another little sequence of SMS and email. And then from here, they're automatically um, connected into the extended follow-up sequence which so we just went through that and then this is the extended so then they go through this and these are just combinations of text and email automations to engage the lead so you can see here um, 
this thing gets pretty powerful pretty fast. You have an automated system to generate leads. All you have to do is literally, you know, get this software that I've got, click some buttons, it auto links to all this stuff. This is already pre built, right? And then you just gotta like, <laughs> when the leads respond, you basically just respond and you know, you've got to proactively engage them too. I always recommend that, but this thing is really powerful, and like I said, when I started, this was nowhere near what I was doing for clients, and there was no way to do this with software. So anyway, that's phase one, two, and three, basically. Now, the other thing is, like I said, they would go into this opportunities pipeline, so I can add this here but basically it'll look like this one two three abc street so when the lead gets generated it'll basically look like this and it'll come in here and then when the lead books an appointment it'll move here and you can move these as well and basically make them to whatever you want so that's the system. Now I want to show you the metrics part and then I want to show you like some actual results from clients that are already using our system. These are actual investors across the United States. We're in Tennessee, um, we're in Alabama, we're in Texas, we're definitely in California. Um, who else do I have on here? Um, Florida, New Jersey, uh, I think New York, and uh, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, a whole, a whole bunch of places, Detroit, so uh, Indiana. So basically, I'm going to show you the metrics and how everything gets aggregated and show you our numbers. I think our cost per lead is like 30 bucks right now, average across these 10 users. And then I want to show you some of the responses from the actual leads. So this is our partner, Upex. They basically built this software. And if you have an agency and you're interested in this kind of SaaS configuration that I've designed, feel free to hit me up on IG. But if you're an investor and you go directly to Upex, um, they don't have, I mean, I think they actually do have some investor templates, but they don't provide, um, all of this, nor are they market tested templates. Um, they may look good. Well, I mean, you can go to Upex directly if you'd like, um, <laughs> putting together what I've put together, I think you'll find is much more than just the tool. So, the point is people kind of hide these tools and act like, I don't know, they made stuff and I, I honestly don't really care. So um, the cool thing too is if you go to, well, yeah, check you can check them out. But we, we basically built um, all of the templates on top of Upex. And these are templates that I've used to go out into the market to actually, um, like I said, help clients make a lot of money. So this is how it works. So this is what's really cool is we've got, like I said, I don't know if it's 13 people or what, what it is exactly, but we just got rolling on this new model and it's so cool. This is actually an additional 838.7 or 800, what did I just say? 838.7, wow. Okay, $837 of spend that Usually these these clients that you know are basically using this system, I probably wouldn't have been able to actually work with these people uh, because of the pricing of the software and the system, right? For us to do this as a service, right? Somebody really needs to be in you know a position to hire us for a service, right? So what's cool about this way more affordable option is now, this is basically an additional $837 of ad spend in just one week that I have data on. 
And what's cool is it's by template and I can go to the clients, but you know, I'm not gonna show the clients' names and stuff, but you can see basically everyone's generated a lead so far. Um, and it's changed the conversation from, can you make a new ad, Quinn? You know, can you do this? Can you do that? To what do I need to do? And it gets you, the investor, thinking differently about how you can take control over your business and your lead gen. So everyone's gotten leads from our system. Everyone's gotten leads. I mean, look, this is the numbers right here. Um, I think one of these is the one that's like 12 bucks or something. I don't know if it's here. Or I don't know exactly which one it is, but one of them was me as a demo, so it may have showed zero, but I think I deleted the template. Anyway, point is you can see here, and really the main things, the cool thing is one, I can oversee this, Two, um, uh, we can aggregate the data between all the clients. And then three, you, the user, can also see this inside of your system as well. So this is sample data here inside of this specific account that I'm in. But you can see the same data we see. You won't see the other client's data. But as this group grows and user base grows, I definitely intend on doing, I don't know at what um, interval, but showcasing the data and, and showing people how they're comparing to other clients and things to look out for and getting people to collaborate and, and implement different things that are working for other people. So it makes it way less about me and my company running ads and it makes it about you, the users, getting results and sharing those results with others. And it just so happens to be digital marketing. So we can see all the results here. Results are leads that have filled out the long form that I've shared. I'm pretty sure everyone here has chosen the long form. I think maybe one or two people did a medium form. But we can see the leads, right? And the cost per lead and the conversion rate of the form. So let's, or the conversion rate of the clicks. So what's cool about this is like, okay, well, one out of, out of nine clicks, one filled out the form, that's an 11% conversion rate, right? And so what's cool is depending on where somebody's marketing, you can see how the conversion rate changes, how their cost changes. And, you know, if you know anything about ads, you, you couldn't have this type of oversight into, um, you know, a client's or multiple client's accounts. Um, and so it's just really powerful in general because every day I've been, since everyone launched, I've just been in here watching the numbers and it's actually way better than when I've ran ads because I'm just looking at like, I'm really only looking at conversion rate. And then obviously I look at cost, but as long as things like stay in place, right? So like, for example, there's one lead here out of nine clicks, right? So the cost per lead is 38. And I, if I went into this account, I could see where, where, the, where this uh, client's advertising. But if this client's, you know, see nine clicks and they're like, oh shoot, like I'm at 38% or $38 per lead, I'm like, yeah, but if you look at other people with the 11% um, conversion rate that stayed constant, you know, you're gonna line up there, and what we found from our system is a 3% a conversion rate, right? We found in um, 20, we basically found that in 2021, when we analyzed all of our different seller leads, we basically found that we had over 20% of the leads we generated actually sold their home. So this is called our, our Holy Grail sheet. I don't have it up here because I cleared my cache. Anyway, but the point is, you know, the actual percentage of leads that a client can can turn into a deal 
And if they follow the processes conservatively can be, you know, around 3%. And then if they have more skill sets, they have more resources or different creative options, they can help sellers, then we've seen their conversion rates go up. We have a client right now that's already converted one deal out of their first 10 leads and they already made offers on two. So the point is we see about um, a a 10% of the leads that we generate offers get made on those properties. And then out of those, obviously you convert, you know, at that rate it's 30%. But from just leads generated to deals closed and profit made is 3%. So basically for every 100 leads you get, you're going to get three deals as long as you work the system properly. So the cool thing here is that you know, sometimes ads just need to get relaunched on a different day. There's really simple things sometimes that you'd be surprised affect the ads. It could just be from one day to the next. You launched it at a weird time and you just so happen to start it that way. So you just turn it off and launch a new one. But, you know, the principles will remain the same because it's the same offer and we've we've proven it. So what's cool here is that you can start to engineer what your cost per deal will be, right? So let's just level this out. This is basically a 10% conversion rate on the form across all the clients here, right? So for example, um, you know, for every 10 clicks, right, one converts and fills out the entire form. And so if we know it's a 10% conversion rate, once we know what the stabilized lead cost is, like for example, this client's spent the most so far and they're at a $40 cost per lead. So really it just comes down to $40 times 100 leads is $4,000 in spend. So $4,000 in spend divided by 3% conversion rate, which means 100 leads and three deals is basically a deal cost of 1333. It's as simple as that. So I'll do the math again. Once you have a stabilized lead cost, then we'll take this client for example, right? For every, we'll round this down, for every 10 clicks, one turns into a lead, right? And we know from proving our system with multiple investors in multiple markets, the number of leads required, or the, excuse me, the conversion rate from a lead to conversion rate is 3%. So for every 100 leads are, that are generated, three deals will close. So if we know that it costs $40 per lead, if we multiply $40 per lead, times 100 leads, you're gonna spend $4,000. In that 100 leads, you're gonna get three deals if you work the system properly. So if you divide that $4,000 of spend into three deals, you pay $1,333 per deal when it's all said and done. The average wholesale deal is probably around $20,000 right? The average flip, depending on what market can be, you know, probably anywhere from 20 to 50 or even a little bit more, right? Depending on your entire business model. But point is, we're making it easy for investors to generate their own leads, automate their follow-ups, automate their processes. And we now have oversight and this brain that basically shows us the data behind the system. And this can be measured against a bunch of other people to make sure you're staying on the rails. And once you stick with it and commit, you can have a predictable system that generates deals. So now I've covered like the forms, the follow-up, and now the metrics. Now let me show you some actual leads that have come through this system and the automation behind it. 
So I'm zoomed in here to obviously respect the privacy of like the client's lead. But basically this lead was generated and here's the response from the lead, automated. So here's another lead that was generated with an automated response. And this client has generated two leads and one of the leads uh, booked an appointment. So here's another lead that was generated and an automated response. And by the way, we see a 50% response rate from uh, this basically. So 50% of the leads respond from here. Um, and then obviously if they don't, they go into the other phases, but 50% will respond based on definitely over a hundred grand of, of ad data. And check out this one from today. And our client launched this on the night before, I think. And here's this response. And then our client basically confirmed their appointment and she said, great. Here's another response. And then here's another response. And then this lead was generated and called our client and our system has a auto missed call text back. So if the lead calls you and you don't answer, our system will automatically text them back. And here's the lead trying to get our client on the phone. And then here's this conversation. So our client's asking how much more need, work needs to be done. And you can see our client asks if they can talk and then basically this lead didn't like the phone call recording so he calls her from his cell which I don't want to reveal and they probably chatted here's more stuff and more and I'm gonna have to keep training my clients on how to text <laughs> but Let's turn to a 21 minute call and more. And then this one's my favorite. He just sends a bunch of photos and says worth 250K, I'll sell cash. So that's basically what I've been up to. If you're interested in this system, you can go to grow.newbreedinvestor.com. Check out this short demo video. See all the results we've gotten from the system. And these are all real deals closed from this system that you would be investing into. And you can basically see exactly what you get. And what I covered was probably... 20% of what's included, maybe even less. So you can see all the features here. And basically sign up right here if you're interested. So would love to have you inside. I hope this video was pretty cool for you to see. And I'll talk to you soon.